for. But yeah, I guess the general consensus among you guys then, as we are about to get into the map, uh, is that we're going to get all five. Like we said, just not in the manner we thought we would get it, Harry. No, right? And and then it begs the question, like, if, if this goes the way that we're all starting to feel like it might, if it does go all five, well, then who is feeling better heading into that fifth map? For me, I would look at that and I would say probably Fury, yeah. if that is how it ends up going down, right? And then we get very, very close to having one of these uh, one of these grand finals where Liquid will, will be remembering it potentially as the grand final where, where two rounds, if two rounds had gone different, oh, that could have been ours. But let's see, right? It is this fourth map of Mirage. It's the map pick of Furia. They've got a T-side start to open up with. Heading over towards B as well. Two sets of nades, Art and Vinny. A kit on Stewie here though with a smoke. But yeah, it's a fast one at that as well. Three members here from Liquid. Oh, the double car, plus that baiting on short. Grim's gonna die, but are they ready for a lead? He's tucked in at the car with a headshot. Make it almost two, not quite gonna get it. Finally, Caserato gives him some face and Vinny will take a leeches off, but that leaves him in a clutch. Back he goes, I like the reset. Even if you recommit to B later in the round, just stalling here by a few seconds can make Liquid doubt themselves. And over-rotate, but will it be an over-rotate? Because Vinny's left the B-bomb site. It's going to try and come through middle instead. Both CTs at Catwalk. Finney can walk into Con with very little warning for Liquid. We say that. Stewie's speaking it, though. Maybe expecting Venus to be going from underpass instead, but <sighs> not expecting that for sure. P250 to your dome. He didn't spot Fallen on the drop either. Fallen knows it's a triple plant. He knows he's got him tucked in. He's going to walk up. Vinny's missing all these timings. It could not get more uncomfortable for Vinny, but he has snuck to the back of the site. Fallen, does he jump up at the boxes? He certainly can. And Big Daddy Fallen is here to play Liquid with the pistol round. And it looked like theirs from the get-go. Vinny certainly gave it a go in that clutch. Yeah, and won't uh, be his today. The pistol issues continue from Furia. We had the stats man, Richard, yeah. give us that... Insight on Inferno, Liquid has been uh, pretty good on their pistols, over 50% win rate. Can't, same can't be said for Furia, has been struggling uh, quite a bit. Bomb plant though, so you see that second round buy. Dropped AK, Kestrado is going to be I, happy enough with the Deagle. I feel so bad for Vinny from that 1v1, man. It's like he, he missed like four timings in a row. And it was timings that fall and hit perfectly. Ah, oh, dead to begin this round. That is one of the hero guns removed from play. Also, Harry, while while you're there, uh, and, and while we're talking about stats, interestingly enough, and this even includes the maps we've had so far in this final, the gulf between these two teams in terms of utility usage as a team it's pretty vast. The average damage uh, per round dealt uh, by HE, grenades, molotovs, and incendiaries. Uh, so the ADR, 26.8 for Liquid compared to 15.8 uh, for Furia. And uh, the flash assist time um, is also zero. Oh, sorry. Flash assists overall in total, 0 0.32 for Liquid. Almost half for Furia, 0 0.17. Oof. So currently, Fury are being out, flashed out and burnt and blown out by Team Liquid uh, this tournament. But they have to be winning somewhere, since obviously they're still here and they managed to get maps off. So maybe I'm guessing for Fury, they're better in uh, the trade game, potentially. Maybe in the uh, situations 4 versus 5, even. Can, can address that as well. Uh, yes. Uh, currently, they are the best team at the tournament in opening duels overall, yep. despite Stewie's best efforts. And obviously, a lot of that is down to art. But, you know, not not much difference, if we're being honest. So, Liquid, certainly in terms of statistics, they're looking to be the best team overall at this competition, as reflected by the current state of play. We saw that as I well, think... obviously, even in standings. We have two Liquid members in the top 10 for players. Yep. Fury, I think, heading into it. Top 11. Best player. 
See, back on Inferno, we actually, you know, that, that whole comeback was spearheaded, if you remember, on that round where Kei Serato gets, like, the B entries. We, we saw him going for a lot of entry. Whenever I think of Kei Serato, you know, I'm not thinking of uh, this, like, mad guy running in, making the opening duels happen. Normally, I look at Kei Serato, I think Clutcher. So, cool to see that he can fill that void. Right, not just be an art, having to make the aggressive moves. Well, again, in no surprising territory, art is that hero AK, and he's up in the window, being spotted on the cross. Jungle player needs to be aware. Fallen's going to turn. Even the A-Ramp player is getting a bit caught out there, but Art finally killing Fallen. He was getting rushed from Connector. He didn't know where to look. Footsteps from either side, but it's back of the site where Liquid keep this round intact. Vinny with a nice kill, but it won't change the outcome. 3-0. AK saved. Liquid starting strong. Second weapon round here, though, for Fury up. No AWP. Yeah, I think they've actually got, like, a D-Gama present in the round as well because of the hero AK, yeah. like, back-to-back -back hero AKs. Yeah, so. Junior dropped it last round, so Art's actually set him up with, uh, with the gun this time, even though he took the hit. Nice of art, right? Suggests he's trying to keep Junior activated. You could have just said, like, nah, mate, give me the AK again. I'm art for crying out loud. But um, he's, he's let Junior have it, and that's good of him. I think the last thing you want is to, like, you know, hamstring Junior's start to this map. He's going to prove to be an important component. Yuri with the A-site opener. And the only man that was actually in the bomb site now removed. We're looking at Fallen to try and land some shots on these crossing players. It's never going to be easy. But there they go into his crosshair. The first opportunity oh. goes awry in the flash. No. While it looked like it was going to be big, Vinny and Yuri obliterate the CT push. K Serato, in the meantime, was out on B. Liquid looking uncertain as to what they want to do in the two on three. I imagine it will just end up being a save. Yeah, that does look to be the case. Yeah, I'm sure the call came in. They're low, they're low. I tagged a couple. Yeah, so they're know. like looking optimistically mm. hoping. Yeah, but that's so unfortunate for, for a Legion. Was it Naf coming from CT yeah. as well, right? Like the high flash was perfect. Two kills on a platter. And just some missed shots really coming from Liquid. Furia react very quickly. Right, Furia don't react. They they will eventually die there, but quick response on the board. I mean, one of the other things that suck is, is you know, like you talk about Naf and Elysia's push. In a way, you had like three players on Liquid, all given good chances to, you know, put a stop to that A play. There's the double CT push. There's Fallen holding the crossing yeah. as well. And every single one of those duels either just miss for Liquid or come up in favor of Furia. And so right away, you know, the round just kind of stripped apart from then on in. Yeah, that's a, that's a very hard shot to hit for Fallen, right, though, either way in the molly. It's actually, you know, it may look fairly simple from our perspective, but I guarantee he doesn't see as much as we do, right, in terms of having that molly smoke in your face. The closer you are to a molly, the less the smoke blooms. There is that benefit, but it's still not helpful. Good mid flash, but again, no capitalization. So we're going to go back for more, and he does do a little bit more damage this time around. Molly traps Yuri. He will just try and escape. That won't work. And so a man up, Liquid can concede mid if they want. You already see a leech backing out of the connector. Liquid taking real estate elsewhere. They've pushed Palace. They've got a lot of info. And this flank from Grim, if it does activate... Am I, um, am I crazy? Oh, I'll talk about it in a sec. Sorry, Hugo. I didn't want to cut you off no, there. I did. You did. Grim. And you are crazy. Out but that's fine. Through T-Spawn. <laughs> Timing's flank. everything on this rap, but it could be like the defining play in the round. It's going to make or break it for Liquid. I can tell you that much. Oh, oh no way. Oh, no. no. Junior. Unlucky. It was nearly so good. But Grim, okay. dropping the bomb, traded after one. You know it's the A commitment at this point in time, and Liquid is just waiting with everybody back in CT. 
Like and Molly's spread. a little shallow, and so Fallen is allowed to stay alive oh. here. They swing as three, and it's all left on to Arp. His teammates brushed aside like it was nothing, and it's just him now to try and pick up the pieces. The sight falls. Liquid, they can just get on this now. There's nothing Arp can do, but I mean, he can spam. He can try and wall bang them. I don't want to be relying on that to win the round, yeah. though. Even he knows he's going to get yeah. double peaked if he does. Yes, what I was going to say is, um, I think Elige had a little nifty nade there, played in tandem with the the Molly to chair. I saw a oh, nade really? come down from like over the yeah. A site, and the only guy who could have thrown oh, it off of the skybox so like was Elige. Yeah, oh, wow. he was playing Maybe, up on top yeah. of the stairs. I swear, I, I saw trust that. your call. I trust you. Like in theory, that sounds kind of interesting. And, and he was the only guy who was like in an area where I could see that happening. Oh. And he didn't have a nade after it happened. Yeah. Someone put the nade there, right? I mean, usually you just lob flashes over the top, right? But when when you're Stewie there and you're making the call, like, I've got him trapped chair, he's not peeking, can't move. You know, that's actually a really nice move. If that did happen, maybe we'll have to go back and scrape the demo later. Because I've not seen that before. But, yeah. Um, I also like how Liquid conceded A really well, though. They just tucked in CT when Grim was flanking. They didn't give Furia any more picks. Even though Grim only gets one for one, it causes enough problems. That's hey, what I was going to well. It's a different setup for Liquid. Two rounds ago, we had a mid setup there. We had Grim solo active uh, playing A, but last round it was a bit of a different. We had two mid and two A setup, allowing Grim to go aggressive. This time around, uh, uh, as well, this starts off actually with a round. It's an entry for Furia on that B bomb side in NAF, but it's a good rotate for Fall and gets the kill there. And after that, it kind of all falls apart. Gets a little bit chaotic, and Liquid rotates are there. I mean, pretty uh, active here on Liquid side, on the CT side, when uh, not running the same setup twice. Having Fury always have, having to guess. Are you going to have a mid setup? setup? Have a stack towards A. Ooh, a bit awkward. Luckily, the smokes both come down and Art lives as a result. Grouping for a B hit, it seems. Is Art going to try and sell an A fake? He's got no utility. He's going back to A. Trying to regain lost ground, see if Liquid have taken any space, even showing a bit of a handed A. Oh, and the bomb's coming back as well. Everyone's rotating. Elite just taking that time, or downtime rather, to peak middle and find Vinny out under. Okay, Art, that's unreasonable, and Fallen will at least dish out a bit of revenge. The flash is good as these T's come through the ramp smoke. Fallen's jumped it, he spotted it. He's flashing a liege back in. There's still another under player to worry about, and Fuhrer is still down a man. Yeah, Kaysarati might find himself responsible with a lot of this round now coming up through Connector. The wrap is well-timed, and he's dealt with a liege on the stairs. Nampa's now got a lot to worry about here, trying to hold them back from taking jungle, and he does a good job. While all that's happening, Fallen is just railing them from CT. Love what we're getting out of the guy. That's another liquid round solidified. I, I will say as well, great yeah. stuff out of Fallen. Like, you know, just barraging the ramp area with flashbangs, nades, you name it. He's lobbing it around just to slow down that A commitment. He realizes what it is. He calls for the rotations. Yeah, and even trades that unreasonable kill from Art where he just yeah. fully runs through the, the half smoke. And I got to say, that's, I think, you know, we talk a lot about the leading on Liquid, and I think there is a lot of conversation to be had there. But I think one of the coolest things, for the longest time, this team never really had that solid AWP, right? Even going back to the Nitro times, like, he was always on it. But, you know, when he left, there was, a, a, a you know, a, even a big problem for Liquid, I feel like, with dishing out that orb, right? We saw Stewie, we saw Nav, we saw it go here, there, everywhere. But I feel like we never had that consistent AWP player that could win you rounds like this. And while Stewie, like when he gr grabs it, you know, now it feels like so purposeful. It's not every time, it's just when he feels like he needs it. Fallen's got the orb at all points in the game, and he's always putting up kills on the CT and, side. So, and different play styles as well, we talk yeah. about, right? Fallen's a little bit more defensive. You know, he can go aggressive, but Stewie, you're right, you, you kind of know what to expect from him. He likes to go aggressive, likes to take fights. Fallen instead, you know, he stands thick, he, gets the, he still gets these entries, but a little bit more in defensive positioning. Stays alive, he's really good at. Oh, Keisarato's gotten deep. 
And Th Yuri is chasing oh. them through smoke. This is a really cool Fury. Now they're all low. It's a really cool Fury run. They just walk the site. So Liquid, they're not quite aware that Fury are, are actually taking over so much map. But we have two more low Fury members. Only really Junior with a lot of HP. But I say that. Oh. Trades are here. Oh, oh my god. It's all down to NAF all of a sudden. Flank is in. Oh, if that hit, I would be <laughs> screaming. All right, now. All right. Nasty. Let's get it. Here he is. Oh, Yuri just runs him down. What a round to win. Yeah, no, that, that's sick. And I, I was really, really curious, like, what was going to become of the Fury and money in that last round. Uh, Junior, didn't, did, Junior didn't buy, whereas the rest of the team did. He was saving to bring the AWP out in this round. But alongside it, there was only one other rifle. They just put a lot of stock in the rifles, you know, doing some damage in the late to mid round, maybe the AWP to get the opener. And, uh, and then they let the pistols work their way up close to really, like, create a kind of chaotic post plant there that was a really nice way to get some usage out of a mismatched buy and now they've broken liquid's money on the back of it it's that second wind for furia right although you can't buy this one but it's uh you know slow start but now they've broken Liquid's money. I think um, keep an eye on Fallen as well, right? You know, we talked about him a lot. You were just saying out like it's great that we have this consistent AWP player in the team. He's been doing a great job over towards CT. But the reason why you want to keep an eye on him even more than that is for the kind of comparisons that can be drawn between him and Junior once we get into that second half, right? Fallen, I think, has already had a great deal of impact from Ticket. So it'll be interesting to see, you know, compare and contrast how Junior stacks up there when he gets onto the second half. Love this play from Liquid, at least. Eco round, so we gamble stack B. Gonna be the wrong call, though. Fury are making their way up towards A. And he's just one Eco, so... Maybe if you're Liquid here, once the bomb goes down, you might be on a bit of a chase for some weapons. They're making their way at least. Let's say had they known that Furia members would have been completely broke and they didn't want to give anything away, you could still be seeing a save, right? Just so we, even if it is just an AK, it's still money that Furia is making here by every kill. Let's see, I would love one. to see... Um... I would love to see Junior given like a little more onus to try and take opening fights. It's a comment from kind of, you know, thing that we spoke about before. Obviously, he was in Triumph for uh, like twice as long as he's been in Furia. But back there, you know, he'd attempted 800 opening fights. Here with Infuria, he's been here for half the time. The number's more like 240 opening fights. You know, he's down like... 25% of what it was. But it feels like a bit of a mismatch, right? Because then you have Art on top of that, and he's just like, well, you just know for a fact he's going to be going for these entries, yeah. right? It, no, well, exactly, right? And so that's why I say, like, you know, it, it does feel like just a very weird match in a sense. It feels like sometimes, you know, you you can get a bit lost behind, like, the the identity or, like, purpose of, you know, okay, so where, where does Junior slot in, you know? And... The thing I will say, I've got full faith in Furia being able to figure something out, right? No matter like what, sure. what that is, you've got to bear in mind that with Furia and the style that Art calls, it was ridiculed at first, man. Like people were like, what even is this guy doing? Like this is never going to work. Well, they did work on it. Work on it, they did. And now it's one of the most exciting, explosive and like unique styles of Counter-Strike that exists. And it is one that Art's been able to get down pat. So I've got full faith in him, figuring something out. Huge trade for Fallen there. Now this A play is coming in, but Lee just dealt with the con player as he often does. It's all coming down to ramp, and Furia have been locked out by a smoke. They send K Serato to Riagro Palace, but you'll notice two players of Furia are running out of this bomb site. Is it going to be another mid-split, try and end back on A, or will they just be going fully round the world? 
Caserato, whatever they're doing, is going to be joining them. Retaking middle. CTs realize. Peek through the window. Elise has got the spot. Stewie's got the kill. Orb tries to trade. But they won't give Junior the satisfaction. If you want to win this round and not save your guns, you've got to go B now. Yeah, but... You know, do they want to give it a go? That's the big question. That's the million dollar question. Doesn't look like it, right? Because if they do save, you know, they're buying up next round. They're, they're fine with that. So it will just be the decision to hold on to these guns. It's, you know, while it still lets you have a buy in the next round, you need to think about both sides here. For Liquid, they get a very, very nice round away here. You know, keeping four alive never really breaking a sweat you're building up a bit of money that's going to come in handy you know you think about how inferno fell apart right we talk about that the money just grinded to an abrupt halt for liquid and suddenly every round was hitting as a two for one so here they've at least got a bit of a buffer starting to accrue and that can make all the difference between finishing a ct side off really strong or having it kind of crumble towards the end of the half Yeah, and Furia, they have gone back to these A takes. Have some success with it, but nowhere near where they want it to be. If you're Furia as well, you were hoping to maybe reset Liquid some more and string some more rounds together. But as Harry pointed out, even with their previous round for Liquid, having four members alive, gives them the ability to rebuy every round with uh, fantastic set of nades, even the. Uh, not potentially having the pressure of uh, being forced on an eco right off the bat. Look, look it up. And there's so much damage. Even with the rounds of Fury as one, there's so much damage being done here, right? To Richard Point with the utility. A lot of chip damage at the same time. When we do see Fury win rounds, though, yeah, it, it is a little bit scrappy, right? Trade games on point. Oh and Robin, look at this. Junior is about to die in the... In the... As far as Furia know, there is physically no way that a liege can be in this position. And yet there he is, shooting Junior in the back. This all stems because earlier on in the round, a liege and Fallen played like a little interesting buddy system kind of setup, where Fallen gives fake information in middle, trying to bait them into a liege. A liege gets all this top mid control and then just keeps going on his merry journey in through T-spawn. And so he ends up in between, like, you know, the two sections of Fury, the guys in middle and the guys at ramp, and he wins the round by just dropping the bomb. That's a really feels bad man moment for Junior, man. He's just holding on to ramp. He doesn't think, no one thinks that anyone could be where Elige was. And that's the half for Liquid, right? We're not done yet, but they've uh, they've won it out at least. That's uh, a reassuring recovery, especially when, you know, most of us expected Fury to be pulling things back to be maybe even taking us to a fifth map in this series, despite how it started. But even winning Inferno, I mean, that came off the back of uh, the final few rounds of regulation. It wasn't like Fury were winning that all the way along. It was Liquids for the longest time, so... Right now, the same can be said about Mirage. Another mishmash buy here for Furia, relying on that saved gun, putting another one in, but they're just going to explode over this A-bomb site. CTs are all here, three here. Grim's inside, under the balcony. Everyone else smoked off, smoked out, cut out of the round by this utility, and we've got the wall of smokes down on this A site. Grim waiting for the flashes, and he explodes. Elite helps out with a double. Grim joins him with two, and it's only Junior left at ramp. It's about delaying the inevitable, taking down a couple of CTs with you. He's got Stewie, but I don't think Grim's anywhere near as relentless, or, or he's far more relentless, rather. Regardless, words are hard, and rounds are harder, yeah. as Furia find out. And Furia, kind of having the same issues they have with Nuke uh, on their inner bomb side. We see a lot of these A takes from Furia coming in, uh, but Liquid's doing a really good job in in holding that bomb side together. These would be much more successful had Liquid been on lower buys, right? Not enough utility. You don't see them actively taking up space as well. So it's you know for Furia, maybe you're hoping it's just we need just the one round, right? Like put them on bit of a funky buy and we can continue running these a takes that we like to do but for the time being they're not working out very quiet on that b bomb slide as well 
timeout being called. Junior, AWP again. In the middle of the pack, no good spawn to anything. It's Case Rotto with a good spawn towards mid, so maybe looking to take over mid a bit faster here. Yeah, with the window smoke down, he's got so much. Oh, room. I love the pace. Or even Liquid Noah about today. Molly Cat on such an early timing. That's a big Molotov for Stewie, and he's actually going to rotate off the back of it. Rims won his A fight. Furia, forget the split. You may as well go wherever you want. At this I point. love that play from control. Liquid. They know that they've lost mid right. They know that there's more than one player there. So they make the decision. Let's push a ramp. Let's take some map control back. It's not just Grim there, right? It's also a leash. I to be taking it over. Looks like a bit of a face setup here. So they have full control of a bomb site. They, they are more than fine with giving Furia this site in connector at this point. They have a ramp. They have CT spawn. They have the a bomb site and B. Very quiet. Good position to be in here for Liquid. The only thing you want to oh. be mindful of is the rotates. I say that Naf going for a bit of an information play. Leash goes down in the process as well. Bit of a caster curse here going on. All seems to be falling apart oh. here now. This goes to the back of Liquid trying to go for a bit of information play, right? They're fishing for some information, not really knowing where Furia is. I say that, at least they're a one on one now, though. We've asked for so much for Junior. They know he's orping. Yeah, Grim doesn't want to deliver. give him a swing. Ollie, Junior's got to go. 20 seconds. Is he going to run B or wait for the fight to come to him? It does. And it deals out death. Grim with three. And that should not be a liquid round. Stewie and Grim, all that remained on that ace site, they put up every kill. Yeah, that's mental. And I, I, I love how they approach the two on four. Stewie sprints out from CT, knowing that players are in con gives them that fight and just tries to take as many to the grave with him as possible. At that point in time, Furia was suspecting that that other missing player could have been over towards B, could have been somewhere else. They try to get into A where Grim is like that nasty surprise at the end after getting the kill, you know, on Stewie. They, they thought they were onto a winner. I kind of love that. It's like a bait and switch, right? Like oh. lull them into a sight take. Ouch. Owie. Yeah, frustrating. It's a bit sad as well. It's been a very quiet T side here from Fury. I, they do make their way over to B like, now. Um, but... Yeah, I, well, actually, I want to. I want to talk about the B rush. So we'll we'll let the B rush pan out. Here it is. In they go. Ooh, Naf, oh, they know you're what? here. It's no secret. Yuri and Vinny are good for the open. Go. The B players worked wonderfully. It's a save for Liquid. Four on the board for Furia. And what I was just about to say, Rob, yeah. and sorry for cutting you off a moment ago, I was going to say, I feel like there was maybe a bit of a miscommunication in that round prior to last. Because the more I was thinking about it, they get the B kill, there's Stewie and Grim left standing, and they kill Stewie on A, and then everyone starts to run into A, but... Hadn't Grim already got a kill earlier at ramp in, in, in that round with a liege? Exactly. So they do a gamble, right? I, you, I think you can even see that in the replay, but they're worried about ramp still, right? Grim has obviously moved since then. Uh, I think they are expecting that, but maybe they've also expected Grim to make his way up to mid, right, from T spawn. Um, didn't want to go through connector then, right? Run into him from mid, for example. So, but absolutely, right? I think the one thing we can give Furia is at least they, 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 they picked a site and they went together, right? Um, but it's a good setup for Liquid. But sure, once you get Stewie, yeah, maybe you can call at that point. There's, you know, Grim Boss A ramp and... I can't remember how much time there was left and maybe it was down to the wire. What a half this has been, though, from Liquid. We don't tend to see that... Uh, very often nowadays. We keep on calling it the new economy. Obviously, it's been around now for a while, but in terms of what it does on the on the server, uh, it has cost for some pretty fluctuating halves. What you do think about is going to be a 15-0, turns out to be you know 9-6 or 10-5, just solely because of the, the economy. But Liquid managed to string some rounds together, despite being on that back burner with the money not being the best, not a lot of utility. I don't know how you feel about this, but I would always rather be going into a T-half if I have the beginner comeback. 
you know, the money does just feel kind of there. You know, you can't just have it torn away like you can on the CT side. Yeah, it's what people um, talk about on, on Dust2, for example. That's why Dust2 is notorious. You tend to see a lot of teams starting CT side, and it's for exactly that fact, right? Because Dust2 is just so uh, momentum-based and also economy-based. So you absolutely rather be going for that comeback on that C side rather than, you know, the comeback is real, and then all of a sudden you just find yourself saving, right? Three, four weapons every round. 11 to 4 in favor of Liquid on map number 4 in this best of 5 series. Can Furia turn it around and make it a map 5? We'll see after the break. Welcome back to the Grand Final, and Fury are about to find out that when it comes to winning this RMR, this map can either be an oasis of opportunity or but a fleeting mirage. Lovely stuff here, Richard. See if uh, we have Fury out, have opted for a five-man armor setup. No kits. Let's be mindful of that. Fury does not want the bomb to go down here, and if they do, it have to be a quick retake. Oh. Case Rotto here and easy spotting Grim. Oh, oh what a yep. shot! And that's all Liquid wanted, right? They were ready to explode. B, they were checking on the pool. They did. R won't get checked. Oh, he fires early though, and oh. Suey just flying around the corner trades a well, I say trades a leech. Dodge at least. Just yeah, about. I don't know how at least sure. that. He's made his sterner stuff. Three health retake on. You mentioned no kit. Well, that's going to be a problem. Oh, a big problem indeed, right? Three on five retake, no kit, no utility. You need everyone to win their engagements. And while Yuri's won his, Junior having to go and do some heavy lifting is also cut down. So Yuri, oh. last guy, and Fallen deals with him. 12 to four. Liquid. They're looking for the victory. They've got to get past this next right. They want to get the I, conversion. I've got to say, I am so like reassured that this is the liquid that we get after they drop the ball on like you know a map they really shouldn't be losing 14-9. You know they they had two or three yeah. gun rounds. They haven't and, like melted under right? that. I was They've... scared they would just fall apart and we would get you know Fury reinvigorated. Well, it is sad to see Fury getting battered right now. Uh, you know, it's it's a great sign of things to come for Liquid, right? The mental state is there. They're all believing. They're putting up rounds, man. They're trying to steal this series away. And what a sweep this would be, at least on the map's Liquid win. Pretty one-sided. Yeah, okay, you got close at the end off the back of, you know, Liquid hitting 15 rounds, going a bit quiet, but overpass was no contest. And this isn't yet. We're going to be relying on that first gun round for Furia. And they do it again, Rob, and they lose another pistol, of course. All too familiar. And they take an eco. Yeah. And uh, we were, were essentially hoping for that gamble to pay off, right? Rounds like these, especially when you're on the back foot like this, 12-4. All you want to probably do is buy on that second round. But they could also be very dangerous, right? That's how you get the 16-4 score lines. And just while we have a moment wrong. here, guys, uh, had a message from oh, Twists. Gosh. One of Team Liquid's favorite uh, ex-players, uh, one of the, one of their favorite sons, just said, wanted to say that we're doing all a great job. It's been refreshing to listen to, and keep up Thank the great you. work to everybody. So, very kind of him. Shout sure out all to of Twist. Sure, all of the Team Liquid fans remember him very fondly. Yeah. Whatever happens with Team Liquid moving forward, his contribution to the team's history unquestionable. So, thanks very much for that. Trying his yeah. success over at FaZe now. Yeah, and Stewie even said recently on Twitter that the Grand Slam was better than the Major, at least uh, how it felt winning with uh, with Liquid. I mean, I can see that, right? Twice because you have this, like, massive, you know, stint of, you know, just sheer yeah. Liquid dominance versus one event. I can totally see it, right? Because, sure. you, you know, for them, it's just like, yeah, that's one event part of, like, the full cycle of, like, we had a massive stint there where we were dominant, right? Mm. That'd be... Sure, the Liquid players will not forget that anytime soon. I can totally see 
just on their end because then it feels like it's not just a one seed, right? Yeah, we went to win the major, you know, other teams have done that, but it's a bit of a fluke, right? You can't say that about a Grand Slam. It's a lot of wins that they kind of have to get through there, right? And they were very dominant around that time. Is this it, though? Is this the closer for Liquid? This one gun round could be the beginning of the end. Uh, a scoreline like this. Fury have got everything, and look at how safe they're being. No one wants to be that guy going down. No one wants to make that mistake. But in playing scared, in playing not to lose, could that be Liquid's way in? This is rough for Yuri. He's trapped out on an island and dead through the smoke. Junior can't find anything on his AWP because he smoked off in jungle. And so the bomb plant is found with it around. And now at 14-4 with no money left for Fury to play around with after this. This is very, very quickly starting to look like a done deal. You know, I said it back on Inferno. I said, well, you know, it's feeling like a different liquid. It shouldn't happen. And then it did. But we'll this say time, this as well. Uh, obviously, we've given it, from 14 for we've you, given you some flag for this. Junior, right? Maybe not showing up. I will say this: Liquid has done a really good job in in making sure he's not part of this game, right? You see, you know, the flashbangs coming in, smokes coming in. If you know that you have a defensive offer right at times, uh, and you know where he likes to play, because uh, as we've noted, right? Like every time we see Junior in a spot, it's a flashbang there. He's not getting free kills anywhere. It's gone at the back of, you know, yeah. Ark being random with AWP, but these, you know, consistent AWP, uh, AWP kills that we've seen that, you know, from the likes of Fallen, for example, I feel like Liquid has done a really good job in just removing Junior from the server. Yeah, that could be part of the game plan, right? You talk about uh, Elige and his love of Swiss cheese and the holes that come with it in Furia. Um, I mean, part of that could be the fact that you've got this new guy, you know he's struggling, maybe with some confidence issues, and you're going to abuse that, right? This, this series was never as easy for Liquid when Henny was in the roster, but right now, they're making mincemeat out of Furia. Brazilian barbecue. And it's only getting worse by the second. Caserato loses his gun in middle. Art's got to pick it up. But can he get out? Oh, he's down to 15. Elige is tucked in on chair. Art's got to... In the corner of the flash, gives Elige an escape. Liquid just looking to tighten the noose right now around the neck of Furia. Four kills to do it. I love this as well. Look, they're sneaking out through ramp. Haven't dropped any utility to like signal that they're leaning heavy over towards here, but Fury have heard the footsteps. They've seen some. Oh, I can't see noise. They've heard some noise. So they've started to stack a bunch of bodies over here, but maybe surprised by just how deep liquid are. This A bomb site falls apart at the seams. And Liquid wow. get onto 15, now just five kills away from locking in this grand final victory. It's a good day to be a Liquid fan, isn't it? A good it's day a good day to be a Naffa, a yeah. Grimmer, whatever you are. It's a rare bit of solidarity. And on Fallen's birthday, no less. Yeah. <sighs> Well, they've packaged him a treat to have liquid. One hell of a presenter, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> nice. Right, yeah. This is it. It's an A-Rush. It's an A-Rush to see... Well, I say A-Rush. A-Set piece to see how this game draws to a close. Double up in mid for Fury. Junior is alone in this A-Bomb site. He has been getting dodged time and time again. And this round is no different because, as I'm saying it, he's rotating away in towards me. You couldn't make it up. Vinny trying to hold on from the stairs. All right, that's a nice double. That's a nice start. He's given Fury a fighting chance. The rest of Liquid are moving in behind these smokes. We want to see a little bit more. But the numbers now are flung into the balance. They're trying to fight through the jungle smoke. This is so messy. This is so wild. And Keserato dead through a smoke of his own. It's not done yet. It's not done yet, Furia. You've still got to get these two. The bomb now down. Grim and Nafly have a bit of a crossfire set up as well. And Naf is going to slam Yuri out of the round. Now just Grimothy. And here he is trying to end it all. Junior will land the shot. And so Fury keep it going for now. <laughs> 20 health makes all the difference there. Oh, finally as well. Junior gets one of these in his favor. 
think it's needed as well for just for confidence, right? But these rounds, I mean, Vinny with a great two kill there as well, but Lick would still make this extremely close. And with Junior still the only one alive, look at the buy that Fury is getting in, you know, co coming in here. We talked about, you know, the, the potential of a comeback, you know, would you rather be CT or T? I mean, it's for times like this, right? Let's say Junior would have won that situation on the T side one-on-one. -on -one. I mean, bomb plant down, you would have had a much more healthier buy. Um, Yuri Force now on an SMG instead, k Auto M4, no head armor, one flashbang. Art going mid by himself. It's gonna go down. Yeah, not what he had in mind. Oh, Vinny's gonna get the worst end of the stick as well. It's gonna be Liquid, five on three. That last round may have been saved by the bell, saved by Junior. But we need another hero for Furia. Like we're going back to the A site, they're grouping for smokes. Yuri's the only guy really committed to this position. Junior's deciding to rotate, but if he goes marquee, he's again going to be left away from the action. Elige even has util to sell a B fake if he doesn't want to come under. Oh, he could go down Ooh, here though, at getting... least. That's something oh, that's for timing. <laughs> Pulls an A, gets pushed. And now it's up to Liquid to explode on A and end this series. Yuri. Time is night. Keserato up on the stairs to help him out, and Yuri's done well to hold on to ramp. Anything you can do to put a stop to the victory of Team Liquid. Fury are trying to do it, but Stewie oh, no. and Grim might prove to be one hurdle too many. Junior is dead, and Liquid have done it. 3-1 in the grand final. They take home a first place finish here at CS Summit 8. And oh, Liquid, baby, 2021, the clash of the top of NA, and they're wearing the crown for now. All right, welcome back to the CS Summit 8. Great time to be a Team Liquid fan. I'm sure you are still with us. Uh, Harry, Hugo, Fifth, Lauren, we're on the downslope now of an epic tournament. But let's talk about, obviously, the winners, Team Liquid. I mean... Uh, I, I said it. I didn't know which version of Team Liquid we would get today. I did expect to have all the maps. Let's be clear. The maps that they won, they won in dominant fashion. And right now, they look to have fixed a lot of the problems already that have plagued them in previous tournaments. I'll start with you, Hugo. You run out of plaudits and superlatives for Liquid when they play like this. Yeah, and it is so reassuring, Richard. We mentioned this during the cast, but you know, it was there was a, a little bit of worry on the death segment after that Inferno game, right? Liquid looked good to not for close me. the entire series, right? You call believe. call we the ambulance, but not for me, guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, you know, we, we were worried either way. I was worried because we've seen so much of it from Liquid. They they start off 2-0. They look unbeatable. They're looking ready to close Inferno. They drop it. Okay, not the end of the world, but will they recover? Will they still be in the game? Are they going to get in their heads? Not at all, man. This is a Liquid that looks sharp as hell right now. They just storm over Mirage. It was Furious pick for crying out loud. They could barely get their, you know, pick their feet up off of the ground. And so I've got to say that's, that's so reassuring for Liquid, for Liquid fans. You've got to be feeling feeling good if you're part of this roster right now uh, as they look to be coming into their own Stewie back leading fallen up and hard grim having a great game i think nap had an incredible series especially on those first two maps and i'll just say Elijah's name because i don't think i cannot yeah man. after you know a final like that one so i think liquid are going to be very happy with how things turned out today i'm I, I'm, I'm so happy because you know liquid they, they they've always been a good team like no one's debating that but but for a while they stopped being a liquid you could depend on right and that was like the biggest issue if if they man you know that they, they managed to win this very convincingly they take home a first place you know be besting all these other na and south american talents if they're able to keep this up man they will be a team liquid we can depend on and the last time we were able to depend on team liquid these guys went on to create you know their own little era uh, on the back yeah. of, uh, of winning the grand slam so well, man if we can get back to that ooh, harry if exciting. you're excited now i'm about to knock your proverbial socks off because we've got the newly crowned champion and newly crowned IGL of Team Liquid joining us. It is Stewie 2K. Uh, Stewie, great to see you again. Great to talk Good to, to you, you again. 
You, I'm a little bit upset at you, though, because you promised me on Twitter that you were never going to go back to in-game leading. You said, <laughs> and you cruelly broke your promise to me, but it's okay <laughs> because you're playing incredibly well while doing it. How are you feeling at the moment? Um, speaking individually, I feel pretty good. feel pretty on form, in form. Um, I think our team is improving step by step. Um, so trying to implement Mike and get him some experience and get him on the same page with us. So we talked to me a little bit about that. One of the things I've noticed this event is that you're entry fragging a lot. And I mean, you obviously you do tend to do that before as well. But I think that there's a whole other level uh, this event. Has there, you know, have you guys talked about that? Has, has that been something that you guys have said? Like, listen, you know, I want, you know, I want to be the entry fragger. I want to be the one that takes these fights. You know, you have a solid secondary caller in Fallen there as well. What's the process been like for you? Because like you said, I mean, you've had a fantastic event. It really looks like you're coming back to, you know, the usual you know, Stewie form that we all know and love. Um, we don't have anything set in stone in our structure with me entering. I think it's just, I prefer to do that. I think we have so many great players around me. We got Liege, Naf. Naf's a good clutcher, Fallen Smart. I think it's just natural for me to do that. I think I like to go first because I just play intuitively. It's not that, like sometimes I'll tell Mike that I want to go first and I want to control Banana, Banana on Inferno. I want to be that guy. And I feel like, I just know more situations than Mike, and he's not quite there yet. So in these matches, I'd prefer being that front man. Um, but at any, at any moment, if it's situational, anyone can enter at any time, honestly. Uh, Stewie, I wanted to ask about, you know, the last time you played Furia, this game today was a, a very different matchup. Obviously, you faced them in the playoff bracket. You had two double OTs. You had a 30-round Inferno. Uh, this game was nothing like that. This game was dominant, albeit, you know, Inferno slipping through right at the end. Uh, what, what for you guys, you know, in the Liquid camp changed since that matchup to make it so much more clean? Um, I think that we've been playing Furia for so long and we've been losing to them that we finally got the hang of it. We know their style. Um... We're just playing with a lot more confidence as well. I, I think everyone's in form. Any player can show up, like the old Liquid. Um, but specifically for Furia, we realize that they just have no chill. Um, Art is always going to do something. He will never back down. And for us, we got the hang of that, and we know plays will come. But we still, we're still a little shaky on Inferno. Um, even the last series, we almost threw it. But this time around, they came and took that map. So we still got some fixing on that. Um, but yeah, I think our matchup against Fury nowadays is pretty good. Uh, yeah. Stu, I, I, I do have one question to do with uh, you and you and Fallen, right? Uh, outside of like the obvious IGL crossover, uh, another another area obviously that's kind of shared would be like how you know Liquid never never had like a pure blood opera as it were, right? And now now we've got Fallen as that guy. We made a comment during the cast that it feels like as a result, whenever you do like double orb, there's there's more like purpose behind it, right? It's not just having a double orb for the sake of double orb. And do you think that's something that's kind of like crept in more? You know that you you put more thought behind it because you know Fallen has kind of got the 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 bulk of the orb work nailed down. Yeah, I think in the beginning when we picked up Fallen, we weren't used to actually having a dedicated opera. And as time went on, we kind of got more comfortable with it. And I think it's just better to have a primary opera that knows his angles instead of having a secondary opera become a primary. It's going to be a little shaky. You don't really know rotations. You don't really know the angles that you should be holding, what to cover. Um, having Fallen is good just because he has leadership qualities. He He's primary opper he helps mid round and specifically on the IGL situation I think it's just because Fallen style of calling it just doesn't mesh well with Liquid system um, when I joined this team I realized that they have a very strong structure they're very detailed they have everything ironed out and it's built around a liege it could be built around anyone I think our system's great and when Fallen was calling I think he likes to play a little more loose. He likes people to be more individual and he wants people to be collecting information and adding all that together. But for us on Liquid, we have our system and we have good answers for almost a lot of situations. So I don't think Fallen was really picking that up and people were feeling uncomfortable. So they wanted me to call again and I don't mind that. I think it's fine because we have another voice. Fallen helps a lot. So, look, last awesome. question, and then I'll let you go and celebrate the win. And, of course, the old man's birthday as well. <laughs> Give my love to him for that. Uh, but, look, um, you've got one foot uh, towards that major now uh, in Stockholm in November, I think, barring a complete disaster. 
uh, you're going to be there. Let's just talk about what it would mean for you to bring home another major to NA. And, and, and is that the target that you guys are setting yourselves in the Team Liquid camp now? Um, right now, we are just keeping our expectations low. We're trying to iron out everything. We know we have a lot to work on. Um, we don't think we're actually quite there yet. Um, so hopefully our boot camp in the end of June will help a lot uh, going into Cologne. Um, right now, we're just taking it a step at a time. We're not trying to keep our expectations high, but it would definitely be nice to win the major. But that's a big, it's a big goal. So until that dream becomes a reality, we're not going to be thinking of that too much. Um, but it would be nice. It would be nice to bring home a second major for NA, especially with Liquid. And I definitely want to be one of the first NA players to bring a second major back and, you know, do it before Tarek does, Rush. <laughs> yeah, you got a head start on that one, brother. I'll tell you that for free. Anyway, look, uh, great to talk to you again. Congratulations to you and all your team. Uh, thanks for serving up so many entertaining moments. And I hope to speak to you again at another event in the future. Thank you guys for having me. Have a good night. Yeah, you too. What a legend, eh? Young leader, yeah. young How still. How can you not love it? Yeah, how can you not love him indeed? Um, so look, just some final thoughts then uh, as we take up one last look at the bracket. I mean, Liquid were excellent. The best team here, no doubt about that. Got to say, Furia, feel a little bit for them. They clearly have things to work on, but they're still an amazing team and they can hold their heads up high uh, and all their Furia fans can as well, I think. Yeah, for sure. When we get the fury that we know and love, when we get the peak, we know what they can do, right? Even just referencing back to that earlier playoff game against Liquid, they put up a hell of a fight. They take a map in this series. Yeah, it's not polished. It's not done for Furia, but they're getting there. And we've actually got the points listed yep. on our screen now. Look who that is sitting at the top. And that's why I brought it up, because actually with the roster move, Team Liquid did lose a little bit. And Extreme them up there as well. Brand awesome. new organization. Yeah, the boys indeed. So you can see they're in the legend spots up there. EG, despite not having a great time here, they're down there in the challenges. And wow, oh, Plano. You know, they weren't here on the last day, but that's they said we have to be at the major. That's what we set ourselves. And you know, they're part way to doing it. Bad News Bears being in the hunt and down on the names. That warms my heart to see PTR and his band of merry men included as well and of course extra salt and pain joining them it just shows that you know and i've been a bit of a you know n negative nelly at times there's still some fantastic talent and fantastic teams out there grinding away for a chance to represent the north american region at the major in stockholm so look this is it it's sad it's emotional parting is such it sweet is. sorrow uh, one quick final thought from each of you about this rmr oh. event I can jump in. I just want yeah. to say a shout out to you guys. It's been awesome to work with you. You know, it's uh, for the first time we've been on a broadcast together. Richard, Robin, obviously, fairly familiar face. You guys are great. I've had so much fun. Thank you to Summit for having us on. Uh, what, a, what a couple of weeks it's been. Yeah, man. I want to echo, 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 echo. Yeah, that's the word. The end. End I want strong, to echo end the strong voice. Them. Yeah, <laughs> I want to echo the sentiments of my colleague here. Uh, yeah, man, no, th this has been great. You know, never worked with you before, Richard, but it really has been a pleasure. I've loved every minute of it. And on top of that, you know, I want to give a shout out to all the NA organizations, players, the BTS guys as well for even having yeah. us here and, you know, like putting on such a great show. I think the RMR here has run very, very smoothly. It's been great. The content we've had has been unreal man like some of the stuff that y'all have come up with has been wild and uh and yeah man shout out north america one time those guys are all right too yeah Fip. yeah i think this has been a, a pretty fun event you know i'll be i'll be honest here i didn't get to phase two i was gonna you know it was one of those things of is this gonna be a snooze fest you know scrappy north american counter-strike you know eh, you know I'm, I'm waiting for phase three but this region has definitely surprised. We talk a lot about, you know, the the other game, right, the Voldemort of some kind. But, I mean, there, there's definitely talent still here. And I think we have definitely seen that over the course of the, the, the past few weeks. It's nice as well to kind of do see the, the big dogs of the region, right, do have a, a good performance outside of the, you know, outside of EG. A uh, little bit sad for them but i'm hoping that they're going to come back and uh and prove us wrong here they're still running for the major drive we saw that on the on the standings there so uh the next rmr is going to be super important for all these uh, all these teams uh thank you so much for beyond the summit as always uh no idea why they keep inviting me uh, back but you know i appreciate it uh 
thank you, Harry and Hugo as well, and, and you too as well, Richard. It's nice to have you back into CS. You are missed. Don't give a fuck what the community uh, says or thinks. Uh, you're a legend. Um, and then last but not least, happy birthday to Fallen. He turns 30 yeah. today. Um, uh, and what a way to celebrate with a grand final win here over Furia. Well, guys, with all of that said, I will echo all of the above. I want to say thanks to CS Summit for having me and connecting us. Uh, Robin, as you know, legends never die. You might not be playing anymore, but people do remember you and all of your stellar contributions to CS. <laughs> wonderful to catch up with you again. And of course, as well, to the future. What a wonderful pair of casters we have in Harry and Hugo. Oh, you see, you. You you see a lot Richard. of people saying, oh, you know, well, are we ever going to top that golden generation? Yes, we absolutely are, guys. We've got so many fine young talents out there and you should absolutely support them, which is what CS Summit does. Thanks to them. I wouldn't have come out of retirement for any other group of people at any other time. So thanks to them. And if you've enjoyed the tournament, maybe you could tweet at hot underscore bid and tell him all about it. Thanks to all of the sponsors. Thanks to the production who worked long nights. We had a pretty flawless RMR. Yeah. It's an incredible achievement in the online area. Everyone should feel very proud. And finally, one last thank you, of course, to the sponsors and all of you for tuning in and making this such a special and memorable event. Uh, I don't know when the CS Summit will be back. They haven't told me that. I hope it's soon. Maybe I'll be a part of it. Maybe not. But whatever happens, you guys are the real heroes today. Enjoy yourselves. Enjoy the liquid win. We'll see you next time.